So hello everyone, this is Aether Nightmare, and welcome back to Genshin Impact! I know I've kind of been gone for a while back on Twitch, I think, yay! So hopefully there will be a preserved copy if this one fails. Yay! I didn't get any virus notification pop-ups this time, so I think whatever the issue was was resolved. I've updated things on my PC since then, I've updated Streamlabs since then, and I've just given Twitch time to sort out its issues, so... I haven't seen any more um, posts online or on forums uh, talking about the issue when I search for it, so hopefully that means it's been resolved. And uh, as for the screen tearing thing, turns out that's just a compatibility issue with OBS and Windows 11. I guess Windows 11 just isn't capable of fully handling OBS yet, and there's some bugs to iron out along the way and aren't mine to iron out, so since I'm doing a more casual focus from here on out, not really giving a shit about <laughs> followers or subscribers. If you want to subscribe to get emotes or to support me, that is okay, but that is like not even the goal anymore. So um, do what you want. But uh, yeah, I, I think I've ironed a lot of the kinks out and the few that remain, I'm just gonna have to learn to live with and not give a shit about because uh, times be a changing and so be my focus. I also know I said before that I would be doing more like night style streams and that just hasn't ended up being the case due to like my work schedule shifting and stuff like that unexpectedly. So yeah, having to take care of my mom, having to take care of a whole host of new patients from one of the hospitals getting destroyed by a tornado and having them all come to us. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. And so I'm just on different shifts. It's not what I expected, but here we are. Can only do what you can do. So those are the updates. Uh, what do we have on the Genshin front? Um, we are still working on Summertime Odyssey. We have 28 days to go, as well as Resonating Visions. I'm not sure if there's anything else going on at the moment. I know they've mentioned some stuff online with like Diluc and whatnot, but I really don't know what that is. So I'm a little lost on this event. I haven't been able to fully keep up with it with how busy I've been. So let's see. We have, as the courtyard in spring once appeared, the first day on the island was rather peaceful, yet things start to get strange the next morning. It seems that to just be the beginning, you and the others trace the strange phenomena to an island and find a bonsai that is not supposed to be there. All right, our quest is in the golden apple archipelago. So let us do that. Still half asleep, you can make out the sound of people talking, then you're greeted by a voice. Wake up! Trendler, wake up! I don't want to, but I can't leave Paimon unattended. Oh, thank goodness you're awake. Uh, Paimon has good news and bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? Bad news first, always. Uh, go on, I'm listening. Okay, uh, bad news first. The bad news is, something weird's going on with this island. And the good news is, uh, is, it seems like it has nothing to do with what we came across yesterday. Today is a different issue entirely. And what might that be? Ah, look, she's awake. Careful not to frighten her. She's probably just like the others. Ah, humans. Such delicate little things. Is that squirrel talking How to me? How are you doing, mate? Feeling a little fragile? So, as you can see, the boat can talk. <laughs> I, I might go back to sleep for a bit. No! Avoidance isn't gonna solve anything! Poor soul. Imagine being scared of talking squirrels and boats. Ha! Huh. Well, we can't blame her. After all, humans aren't quite accustomed to hearing things like us talk. Wait, have you guys always been able to talk? <laughs> of course! Otherwise, how would we communicate with others of our kind? So in other words, we suddenly gained the ability to understand you? Huh. How strange! Maybe you've gained some intelligence. Congratulations! So you're finally awake. Time to rise and shine. You could have waken well, me up. You're back. 
Yes, we went for a little walk. The enchanting scenery and pleasant weather here soothes the body and mind. Everything is fine, except that some places are a little peculiar. <laughs> the servants of darkness have descended. Rejoice, for the return of the Imanach Reich is nigh. Main Fräulein means that this is an unexpected development, and she has never seen anything like this before. No, that's not even close to what she said. Oh, my apologies. Please take that as my own opinion. What happened? After last night, there have been some unusual spectacles on this island. Yes. Swimming birds, flying squirrels, the sun and moon in the sky together. Some of these sights only lasted for a moment, but that doesn't make it any less bizarre. I heard a strange flapping sound on the island, but didn't see a single flying creature around. And there was also a peculiar floral scent on the wind. Though there are many flowers on this island, that scent did not resemble any of them. Great, the Ark is breaking. Seems to me like whatever these things are, they aren't visible to the naked eye. I tried to perform a divination, but my scryglass showed only a chaotic mess that was impossible to decipher. Oh, Hyman has a bad feeling about this. Oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Hmm. I had resolved to summon the Imanachreich in this land, but now we observe these puzzling phenomena. Could this be the spawn of the condemned trying to thwart my sacred endeavor? Wait, you don't think Alice could be behind all this, do you? I mean, it's not impossible. She could be messing with us. But if it really was her, it wouldn't make sense to do all this. <laughs> ah, look at them, old chap. Seems we scared the pants off them. Oh, well, they've never seen anything like this before. This old boat sailed all over the briny seas in its time and tried talking to many a sailor, too. But in all that time, not a single person has ever spoken back. Exactly. If it weren't for this environment, who would have thought humans would be able to chat with us? This environment? What do you mean by that? Oh, the environment. Could it be that... that the environment is what's interfering with my divinations? I mean, it might still be dreaming, but could be. Uh, even if you were. Dreams aren't supposed to become reality, right? And a dream won't make you suddenly understand boats and squirrels. Uh, ah! What's wrong? Look, over there! Want to be more specific? Oh, that's a castle. Careful what you wish for, I guess. No, it felt too real to be an illusion. Those things we saw flickering in and out. That's exactly what I saw earlier this morning. Does this mean the Amanagrash is real? Wait, what? Official's <clears throat> breaking character out of surprise. Rice has come, just as your Prince Zessen had prophesied. Come, my people, a new chapter awaits us. Indeed, Main Fräulein. We all have witnessed this miracle with our own eyes. And now is the time to celebrate the creation of a new world. Rejoice. You two are just going with this? <laughs> Welcome to the Yemenak Rice. She looks so happy. Paimon doesn't have the heart to interrupt her right now. 
Oh, she doesn't seem surprised in the slightest. Does that just come with being an experienced adventurer, or...? If this isn't an illusion, we ought to go and investigate. I got an idea. If you hurt yourself in a dream, you wake up right away, don't you? No. Um, hmm. Yes, you have a point. Right? So come on, Kazaha. Hit me. I can get beat uh, to hell in my dreams I don't wake I'd up. I'd rather not. Uh, how about you hit me instead? But that'll hurt real bad. Hey, there'll be no need for any of that. Just leave it to us. Um, hey, Traveler, can Paimon hit you? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I like your senses of humor, me hearties. An illusion. So, talking boats and squirrels are just an illusion to humans, huh? Now, now, it's understandable, old chap. Haven't you heard? As humans grow older, they forget many important things and lose many of their abilities. Aye, so they do. A pity, to be sure. Thinking back, in all those years I spent sailing with the fleet, I would have never imagined that one day I'd be laughing over something like this. Well then, me lads and lasses, don't you want to take a wee gander at all the places you're so curious about? Of course, but how do we get there? Look, here. At what? Blimey, at me, of course. Oh, that's right. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm the smartest chip you'll find in all of these parts. The names are... Just call me whatever takes your fancy. Don't you have a name? That I do. I just can't remember it. All I know is that I came here from Inazuma. In that case, Paimon shall name you... <gasps> Mitaburu! How's that? All the other chips in Inazuma seem to have names ending in Ru, too. Mitaburu. Ha! <laughs> That'll do nicely. You're lucky to have met me. I can sail through the choppiest seas with ease. There isn't a wave out there that can capsize me. So, come aboard, and I'll take you wherever you'd like to go. Home. Ah, how very kind of you, old chap. Unlike that animal archon who abandoned us here. I'm sorry, what? You know, the animal archon of Mondstadt. Don't you know, some of these islands used to be Mondstadt's mountaintops. Once upon a time, the animal archon sliced them off to neaten the place up and chuck them into the ocean. My great, 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 uh, great grandfather was on one of the mountaintops and got sent flying here along with it. Wretched animal archon. How could that happen? And we've been living here for generations since then. <laughs> Fortunately, there were a few other squirrel families that got stranded on these islands as well. So we built ourselves a kingdom here. The good thing is that there are no predators or competitors around. All the pine cones on this island are ours for the taking. The bad thing is, we're stuck here. I can't see that coming. Sounds like the Imranath Reich is a kingdom of squirrels. I know a few people that would love this. Also, I can just take you back with me. <gasps> Hold thy tongue. Paimon. Please do not make such slanderous statements. The Imanakreish is, of course, a kingdom of night ravens. Hey, lad. Yes, you. You're from Inazuma, eh? That makes us brothers. Ha! <laughs> Every young lad of Inazuma has to pluck up the courage to set sail on an adventure one day. So, are you coming? <laughs> are you already kids? <laughs> to set sail is to leave one's homeland and travel far away. Hi. You need lots of courage and just a dash of heartlessness. Cause once you leave, you may never return. But if you stay, you're forever a prisoner in your own heart. <laughs> Inspiring words, Mitoboru. And you're right. The wanderer's spirit runs in my blood. I'll go with you. My friends, are you coming too? I want to take a look at this strange phenomena on that island. 
Also, I smell ancient timber and waterproof varnish on this boat. The scent is indeed from Inazuma, so I believe he speaks the truth. Huh. Well, what does everyone think? Oz, lay down the gangplank. Thy princessin shall take to the seas. Let's all go. It'll definitely be an experience. It's already been one. <laughs> Great. And we're off. Safe travels. Well then. Huh. Don't go killing any squirrels on the island, I guess. Hey, friend. Your eyes betray your thoughts. You still look very bemused. Oh, come now. Do you see me acting surprised at the sudden arrival of you and your party? Well then, I'm sure we can get along quite amicably. If you want to know where the most scrumptious pine cones are, come find me anytime. Ah, <sighs> Mondstadt, I wonder what it's really like. Again, I can take you back. Okay, apparently there's two ships now. This one I think is, yeah, that's mine. But then, is the other one over here? There we go. Wasn't dashing for some reason. That's just a challenge thing. Well then, this is turning out to be a... lads and lassies. Mitoboru admires your bravery. How long have you been here? Oh, it's not your first time. Ha! Well, I never. It's turning out to be an adventure indeed. I gotta remember Genshin controls over Final Fantasy. During the Surf Piercer Challenge, you must navigate the Wave Rider and follow the objective markers to pass through golden track banners en route to the final destination. During the Surf Piercer Challenge, a Wave Rider will gather a certain amount of Piercer's Drive. Once this is charging process is complete, you can activate a more powerful Surf Spacer's Charge. This ability has a maximum of three attacks. Use the special coalesce ability during the challenge to gather all available drives within a certain AoE. Oops. No, that's not the speed up button, dum dum. I don't know if that is either. This is. Thirteen. Wait, I passed through the gates. Here we go. R2 is a magnet. Yeah, I don't know how fast it can pick it up either. Okay, it tends to recharge pretty quickly. So that's good. I think it wants me out of the boat. Uh, Sir Piercer's charge you, zero out of one. I don't know how to use it. Let's see. Uh, okay, apparently we can get Fischl. The Princess and Deva Itanung. Only one invitation can be sent during the event. Invitation criteria. Total iridescent flossum collected 2,400. Don't know what that is. Event details. Can't read that. Uh, let's see. Surf Piercer. Temple of the Star Latitudes. That's locked. 
foggy hills and misty veils. As the courtyard in spring once appeared, the first day on the island was rather peaceful, yet things started to get strange the next morning. It seems that it's just the beginning. You and others trace the strange phenomena to an island and find a bonsai that is not supposed to be there. That doesn't tell me anything. Um, surf piercer. Uh, complete the challenge with 140 seconds. Use coalesce three times. Okay, I think that's the one I just did. Nope. R2. Uh, 120 seconds. These are all Prima Gems and stuff. Hmm. Okay, I think all these have been unlocked, so I'll be able to do all the Surf Piercer eventually. We did spend a lot recently. Only ten more are left. <laughs> Still, ten more is better than no more. Uh. And then what about Resonating Visions? Phantasmal Conscious Collected and Photographer's Words. Okay, these are some of the conches. I think this is once we actually get them, we'll be able to play them in order. I think that's what this is. If I can just... No, not that. I want this. There we go. Phantasmal Collection. Obtained after collection progress reaches 16. I think this is a new outfit for official... Which gives me really strong Honkai Hersher vibes. And I love it. Also, her eyes are a different color. Uh, so let's see. We also get primos and money. So this is from collecting all the conches, it seems. So, you know, that'll become a thing. Eventually, you see a conch, you scream about it. Okay? Cool? Cool. Where the heck are we going? We're going over here. Well, I certainly didn't expect to see you here. This is a bonsai pot, right? It's nice, but it looks like it's been a little neglected. Is this the one from your shed? This bonsai was in my family for many generations. I saw it once in a Tenryo Commission warehouse, but it looked quite different from how it does now. At that time, there was a withered tree inside. Why would someone keep the plant in there if it's dead? It's a way of sending a secret message. It indicated that there was something hidden inside the flower pot. There was a letter buried down at the bottom, which told of an ancient secret in my clan. I did not take the bonsai with me after reading the letter, which means it should still be in the warehouse now. I wonder who removed the plant and placed the pot here. So the bonsai pot belonged to your ancestors? Seems a shame to leave it empty like this. Hmm. Kaza, what do you think about maybe putting a little something inside it? <laughs> All right. Though I still don't understand why it has appeared here, I can give that a try. <laughs> what? Uh, hello, loading screen. Where's Kazuha? Huh? Where are we? Oh, yeah. Everyone's here except for Kazuha. Kazuha, where are you? Are you okay? No response. Well, let's keep an eye out for him. Look at the decor here. It's like the inside of a grand mansion. I don't think this is a perilous maze. It's somebody's home. Most curious. What secrets lie within this place I shall surely uncover. Let's take a closer look. Okay. Oh. The prismatic rampart can be used to fire arrows in different colorations. You can adjust the prismatic rampart's angles of elevation, depression, and rotation to allow it to hit targets in different positions. Prismatic seals of certain colors can be dispelled by arrows of the same color, fired by prismatic ramparts. There are three different colors for seals and arrows. After you've picked up a prismatic gem, you can unlock a new arrow color at the prismatic rampart. Okay, so there's something over here. 
Can I like pick it up or do I just have to like fire one first? No, not that. How do I... Speed of light. Yeah, I can't really pick it up. Maybe I can only fire certain ones? Yeah, because like this one I can't interact with yet. I can only rotate this one. Wait, do I smack these? No. Because I remember some of these you had to like smack. Oh no, you fire this one. Okay. Now I can pick it up. I have a, a yellow leaf. I don't know what to do with it. Utility room and unknown chamber. I'm gonna pick up the thing on the desk first before I throw myself down a hole. Elegantly written note. When I was flipping through some old books today, I found my father's old notes. I read them, of course. He wouldn't mind. As I expected, most of the content concerned foraging techniques as well as tricks on how to handle certain ores. The tale and featured a number of handwritten drafts, mostly bonsai designs. While I suppose this love for them doesn't count as a clan tradition, my son turned six this year. His name is Kazaha, just as my wife wished. His coming and her going were not far apart. To think that it has been six years since then. If she were still here, she would surely be helping my father in the yard. My father lived well in in his younger years, and that lifestyle has greatly deteriorated in his latter ones. It fills me with shame to admit that I am unable to improve these circumstances. He says that it is not important, however, and that he is insisted uh, we who are young are the key. It looks like this letter was written by Kazuha's father. So keeping bonsai plants really does run in the family. Hmm. But the fact that we're even here and could see his father's notes... It just seems so unbelievable. Okay, that's just that. Operate the device and investigate further. Okay. Okay, that utility room, unknown chamber then. Oh, I see. So there's a chest here. I bet then if I pick this up and change the color. Yellow, there we go. Okay, then rotate this. That hits that. Which in turn, I want this way. And then this looks like it's already pointed, so let's fire. Close enough. Two hall primos. Yeah. Oh no, and there's other stuff in there. Can I walk on this? Okay, there's a ladder here, but there's nothing really down here. Sort of just a depression in the floor. Best to get the area. Door of Resurrection activated. Well, there's a green one here. There's a thing to change rooms. Alright, let's read this first. A letter to my dear father by Kaidahara Ka no, to my dear father, Kaidahara Kageharu. Ever since the official dissolution of our house, I have packed my bags and left our ancestral home, wandering the world, and I have learned much to on this journey. Today I was reminded of the many scenic artworks you drew in your notes as I passed some of the cliffs by. The sights gave me much to think about. A wanderer's leisure is not just the tradition of our clan, but the appreciation of scenery surely counts. I believe it was grand great-grandfather who started that particular practice. You mentioned that he enjoyed painting small trees, loving their supple branches, while Grandfather was off on a different temper temperament, enjoying fiddling with stones more. 
While I was young, our backyard was full of many curious stones that grandfather collected. Back then, I thought the ground was littered with treasure, but now that I know more of the world, I can quite, I can be quite certain that at least some of them were sword testing stones that grandfather brought back from the foraging station. I knew precious little about stones then, believing them all to be of great value. But can there really be so much treasure in life? I am writing this letter as I rest in a shady spot on a hilltop. I intend to burn this letter shortly, before using the water from a mountain stream to quench the remnant em embers. This way, I believe the message will reach you, though you can no longer receive letters. I see, so he's dead. I dismissed the servants after your passing and settled our various assets. It's not worth much, but it's enough to live on. I fear that our bonsais may not have fared as well as I hoped. I sold what I could get my hands on to pay your debts, save for great-grandfather's old relic. It was confiscated by the Tenryo Commission. That said, I suspect that staying in their storehouse may have been a better fate for it than remaining in my hands. I have not been here a long while. The wind rustling through the mountains is just as lovely as it was when you first brought me here many years ago. I'm setting off again. Farewell. Kaidahara Kazaha. Something I hypothesized too is if, like, maybe one of his relatives is perhaps related to Fuwa from, uh, Honkai, just because they have such a similar, like, hairstyle and stuff, and I'm not sure if that's the case. It would explain why he's such an important character so far that they're kind of, like, hinting at in the lore. Looks like a letter Kazaha wrote while he was traveling. Oh, what a sad letter. Lord Kazuha. Okay, this one I want to rotate this way. Okay, so this would come in here, hit that... Rotate that, and then it would smack this chest right here. But first I need color correction. If I can. No switchable colors. Heck. Yeah, because it's green now. So I would hit that, hit that. What she needs to be yellow. It's currently green. I feel bad for anybody who might have some color blindness during this. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to change rooms. So I'm assuming this is the collection chamber. Okay, yes. So it's probably in one of the other unknown chambers. Let's just go in order. Okay, there's the yellow thing. And it's guarded. Nope, let's actually do... We've talked about this. Charge. Himbo power, go! Oh my gosh, there's more. I need you to group up. Oh my gosh, they have bow guns. I've never seen them with bow guns before. All right. Shield. Defense. Goro. For beads. Recharge and let's fly. Oh, I don't understand how to get him to do like the combo as usual. Alright. Where's my thing? Give me my, my prize. Okay. Added. Just really quick, let's go back to the collection room. Curious if my setup still functions. Nope. Nope, it is not. I gotta rotate it. Rotate here, there. Thought it would remain in place, but it did not. And what do we get? Just the usual. Alright. Third room, then. I 
investigate your surroundings and find a way to open the door. When you find a melodotic omamori, you can pick them up and carry them with you. Place melodic omamori in a special shrine to cause certain changes in the surrounding area. Okay, this is gonna be too much for my brain. Well, here's one. Okay, there's one. Maybe I need both and that's what it's telling me. Like, oh, you need both to open the door. Just remind me of like Final Fantasy X symbols. Anywho, let's go further in then and see, uh... Let's not get stuck on the paper lantern that is sideways and all around. What is this, Alice in Wonderland? Oh, Ooh, sorry. My stomach's growling. I don't even feel hungry, but I guess... I guess I'm hungry. This is pretty. Is there... Oh, I didn't mean to fall off, though. Is there anything down here, though? Any secrets you would like to share with the class? Big hole. It's my only way down, so I guess I'm going down the big hole. This is a really claustrophobic domain, wow. Okay. Oh, I see, so that's what's gonna be over here. I can also just cheat and do this. There it is. Let me guess, it takes me back to the main room. Because this sucker's probably timed. That's gonna launch something. Or they just hit each other? Door of Resurrection activated. More of this. The flesh resides in society while the heart yearns for the natural world. Such has been the way of the Kaidaharas for many generations. Kazuha, the future of this clan will one day be in your hands. When that time comes, remember to always oh stay true to yourself. I'm so sorry about my stomach. <laughs> If you can hear that. Man say something about the Kaedeharas. Sounds like it might be Kazuha's grandfather. It's like it knows. It knows I'm streaming. Place offering one of three. Thankfully they give me those. Otherwise my brain might be too stupid. Listen carefully, Kazuha. A Kaidahara blade is not forged for the purpose of harming people. Two out of three? Father, mm. what are you carving? <laughs> it's a rock garden. I'm modeling it after the scenery I saw on my travels abroad. It'll go with my bonsai later. Work has been so busy these years, I've barely had a moment to spend with my grandson. I hope he doesn't take after me. When he's older, he should get out there and see more of the world. I believe the other voice belongs to Lord Kazuha's father. Oh, I see. We have ventured into Lord Kazuha's memory. Is Kazuha in here with us or did he get left outside? Like, is he here to comment? Because otherwise I kind of feel like there would be an, oh shit, that's my dad moment. Can we put it in the thing, please? There he is. Oh, there you are. Huh? 
where did you all go? This place is a maze. We all got trapped inside except for you. I've been stuck in this room the whole time and can't seem to find a way out. I have to say, this place looks a lot like my childhood bedroom. If this is your home, why would you be trapped here? Is the maze trying to keep you out? You tell Kaxua well, everything that has happened. <sighs> it appears that this whole maze is modeled after my family home. And all the conversations you heard in there are in fact words once spoken by my father and grandfather. You said that the maze is trying to keep me out. Indeed. I'm the only one unable to explore this place. I think these unusual structures are some kind of mirage. According to what Kazuha said, all this seems to be constructed based on Kazuha's memory. Hmm. But why should Lord Kazuha be the only one excluded? Maybe that comes from me too. To me, what is past is gone. Everything in the world is guided by its own rules, and as for people, we can never relive the past. I think that this belief is the reason why the Mirage was keeping me out. Oh, I can get behind that. It's a very sensible way of looking at things. All our thoughts have consequences. I don't consider it strange, and I don't think it's anything you should be worried about. Hmm. <laughs> We got in here by touching the bonsai, didn't we? So perhaps, if we touch it again... We're back! Freedom! Hey, look! That whole mountain's changed completely! It looks like the stone Wait. that was in the bonsai! Everyone... I might have an explanation. The changes in the mirage could be related to the bonsai. My father once mentioned that this pot was originally part of a collection belonging to my great-grandfather. He adored his bonsai and always took great care of them. When our family fell upon hard times, my grandfather traveled far and wide looking for a way to save the clan. However, during that time, my great-grandfather became gravely ill. He knew my grandfather had no interest in bonsai. So before his death, he gave most of his carefully crafted bonsai away. This is the only one he retained. Tied the letter with that secret in it, right? Yes, and to give his son something to remember him by. My grandfather returned quickly as he could but my great-grandfather had already passed away. They never got the chance to say goodbye to each other before the end. After that, my grandfather would spend long periods of time standing in front of this bonsai, lost in thought. Eventually, he started to make his own bonsai. Unlike his father, he preferred arranging rock gardens instead of plants. Perhaps influenced by my grandfather, my father also took a liking to crafting bonsai. Back then, our courtyard was filled with all kinds of them. And this flower pot was passed down to me as a family treasure. It's certainly no coincidence that it appeared here and became the entrance to the mirage. It's almost as if... It's giving me a chance to make up for past regrets. Regrets about what? There was once a time when the Kaidaharas were an illustrious clan in Inazuma. After the Raiden Gokaden incident, our clan's fortunes took a turn for the worse. By the time of my generation, our downfall was complete. Later, I fled Inazuma as I didn't want to be arrested. With no one left in the Kaidahara clan, the authorities confiscated everything in our home, including this bonsai. Like my ancestors before me, I think I'd like to try it out for myself. Recreate a favorite scene from my travels and place it into this pot. Oh. Since the contents of this bonsai affect the mirage, I'd at least like to try my hand at making something. 
But what style? Should I use plants for the bonsai, like my great-grandfather? Or rocks, like my father and grandfather? <laughs> Perhaps a rock garden would suit me better. So do you need any supplies to make this bonsai? I think I'll need a set of tools and some rocks that can be carved and made into decorations. Got it! We'll help you look! We might just get lucky. If the pot's here, then surely other stuff related to crafting bonsai can't be far away. I concur. Lord Kazuha, take heart in your search, for my retinue and I shall help you retrieve your missing treasures. Thank you, everyone. Okay, quest complete. Part two. It's the courtyard in spring once appeared. I'm assuming we're still in the same chapter. Because it hasn't quite, uh... Oh, wow. Can I... Uh, can I go up top of that? Also, really quickly, I want to check on... Official? I want to see how far her constellation is. Okay, so I could use another one for her. There's also a shell up here. Shell detours are allowed. There it is. I see it. Oh, there's also a fire thing here. And enemies. Speed of light. Oh, come on. You're being a butt. Let's roll. Oh, come on. Get back here. These heal too if you leave them for too long. Every time I shoot one, it produces a crystal. That's better. I also really need these husks. Did he leave the insignia? I can't just keep searching. It's getting us nowhere. I need to get to the next island. I can't leave Yakov on his own. Check this out. Okay, that one's good. Feet of light. Am I this petty? Yes. Yes, I am. Apparently, that was not all of them. The two insignia looks super old and it's all scratched up too. Pino wonders who might have thrown it out here and how. Maybe the other ones are like further in. Hmm. There's also this. Which I assume is going to be. Hello? Wants me this way, I think. Ooh, what's in here? Challenge completed, I guess. But there's also. Wait. What do you want from me? Where's the other ones? I don't understand. Why? don't see them on the island. I see two other things. Yeah, I saw another gliding challenge, so I'm gonna grab that really quick.
Oh, great. <laughs> it's one of these. Why are these ones purple? Am I gonna need Sayu for this? group similar materials together now so you don't have to pick up every single one. I'll be by. Bonk. Okay. Let's try that again. I realize my goal is up top. But um just trying to figure a few things out. Tall person. These tall people are the fastest. The fact that some of these are purple is weird to me. Alright, go, 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 go. What's this? Artifact, apparently. Hmm. The fortune slip was right. Okay, so that's back where we were. There's also some leaves fluttering in the wind over here. It got a lot mistier when we put that bonsai in, too. Okay, so originally there was, like, two... Well, they are just dandelions. I thought so. Okay, does anybody else see more of these fire things? Because I don't. Half of it's also in the mud. So maybe it'll have to be like a whole, oh my gosh, island change in order to uh, cover it. I don't know. Don't get too close. Don't. Fire it up. One down. Speed of light. Yeah. Did I get anything for that? No. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that doesn't quite belong on this island. Like enemies and whatnot. Like it's a clue. I do need these though. I need these for Goro. Alright, I'm just gonna head up top. 
And that's probably going to be on another shift change for uh, solving that puzzle. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, why? What is this? What is this, bro? No. No, 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 no. You. Get out. Okay, shooting fireballs, courtesy of Toma. There we go. Got one out of the bubble. Kill it! Okay, so is it one, two, and then go crazy? Yeah, I think it is. Because otherwise he goes directly into the uh, ground pound. Okay, got some tools. Tools! Duct tape, zip tie, and gloves! I gotta have my tools! Uh, let's see. Back here, I guess. Wait a minute. I know what these are. How do I? Thank you. For the people who are probably like, you should know that by now. Yeah, I know. New controller. Shush. That's pointing from way up there. Is there a Sealy? Hang on. Hang on. See it from this. Can't catch me. There's one of these somewhere else too. Where was the second one? Was there? Oh, hang on. Stupid enemies, get out! I'm trying to brain! I'm trying to big brain! Anything over here. Okay, please tell me my Geo Traveler is. Yes. Alright, you. Okay, activated something. Don't know what. Gotta be another one somewhere. Thankfully those pads stay for a while, but also, oof. Finding the other one is... Did I already get this conch? Yeah, this is the one where they were throwing it. All this honor stuff. <gasps> there you are! <laughs> no, I mean let go. You gotta learn to let go, honey. That's probably gonna be a theme later. Given how depressing Honkai can get and some of the topics it dares to deal with, I wouldn't be surprised if Genshin turns around and Roundhouse kicks us right in the stomach. Where are you going? <laughs> I 
Oh god, I'm gonna have to activate a windmill to get over there. Be free! I'll be right behind you. I want to help. I'm coming, friend. I'm right behind you. Don't drown, don't drown, don't drown. says underneath underneath um and this one says nothing so those islands probably haven't emerged yet let's go As was the case last time, only Lord Kazuha is missing. Don't worry, leave it to us. Look in the area for an exit. This is all locked up. Not anymore. And I guess I'm not going to drive myself too crazy if I don't get these perfect, a few extra primos and some talent books aren't exactly my biggest issues. Okay, so there's one here, one here. Oh. I see. <laughs> now that I've placed it, does it change something else? Maybe. Maybe it's somewhere else in here. Yeah. And I need to look more thoroughly? Yeah, I can get down here. I need to hit this with green. Okay, so that should be pointing approximately at it. This points this way. This needs to point this way. There's also one here. Can I carry more than one? Okay, I need to take this one back up with me then. Place it in a thing. Turn it back around. Jump in hole. No jumping. Thank you. But what about this one? This one's technically already in a temple. It was just locked up. I don't understand. Maybe that unlocks like the whirlwind or something. I'm not sure. Well, I can't seem to get it. So that's confusing. Okay. 
Start, start what? Faces. This way. And that's when I need a yellow signal. But I bet I only have green. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, maybe. Let me explore, please. Okay, this is back down. No, it's not. I thought we were back down in the first room, but we are not. I also need to get another talisman thing. Or is this where I take the talisman thing? How do I get out? Okay, we all lined up. And flip. Kazwa, your house is weird. Right, down. Follow the path. Ah, this path. Oh, garden. This will do. Ah, Kazwa. You've come just at the right moment. What do you think of this rock carving? It's very intricate. I based it on a mountain scene I saw in a book. You know, there are nations in this world where the mountains reach all the way up into the clouds. <sighs> if only I had the chance to see them with my own eyes. Father, you can go anywhere whenever you want. That's not true. Though the Kaedehara clan is far from what it used to be, I still bear all the same responsibilities as the clan heads before me. But then again, continuing in the way of our forefathers, sacrificing everything for our declining clan, is it really worth it? But I... I don't understand. Kazuha, there's one thing I want you to always remember. Family ties are important. But you ought to not let them hold you back. Family only exists because of the people in it. If we are unhappy, how can we hope to build a joyful one? The events of the past have had a profound impact on our family. But they are not your burden to carry. If you ever grow tired of this tedious life, just drop everything and go off on a journey. See the world. Remember, Kazuha. Don't let yourself get tied down in life. Yes, father. Hmm. Enter the dojo and defeat the opponents. Can I speak to you further? No, I cannot. I suppose I wouldn't really be speaking, though, would I? I think I came out this way. supposed to walk through the rocks, but I did. I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Kayadehara. It's my honor to meet you today. It is Kazuha's honor to duel with a military man like yourself. Kazuha, get ready. <laughs> uh, not quite charged yet. Show me what you've got! There we go. Let's fire it up. I dare charge. Only 
One, two, combo. Ta-da! Train harder. Operate the device and enter the new space. What device? In here? Where I was? Hmm. There's a wind. Anything behind me? Yes, a door. Okay, so this is the new room. There's already one in here. like we've already maybe done these ones. Yeah, we have. Explore the area and look for an exit. Is there anything to my left or right? Nope, don't think so. Hope not, because I already fell down. <laughs> LOL. <sighs> Again. Yeah. Okay, this is the new space, and I'm gonna need two. That must be one of the bonsais, I'm guessing. Nothing over here. Nothing over there. Uh, explore the area and look for an exit, but I don't see anything to interact with. Oh. That would help, wouldn't it? Okay, there's one. Alright, I need red. It's getting a little more complicated now. No colors. Red's over here. Okay, got one. Put this back, and then I'm gonna come back down. <laughs> nice. Okay, red. Red goes. The other way. <laughs> I think the door is going to be down here too, so back up. Rotate. And now... Oh! This actually gave me a different whirlwind. I thought it was gonna be down. Maybe not. 
Oh no, because I opened it this way. Because this is where we were. I'll be it upside down now. Alright, how about you? Two to no- nope, nope, green. Ones. Hmm. Okay, so that's where green goes. Kinda. Cause there's one of the things. Hmm. Here's red. Find out where the launcher even is to begin with. I see how to rotate it, but I don't see. Where the base is. Can't find the base. Oh, and those only last us such a limited amount of time. I'm stuck. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this really quick. Flip. I think it was on one of these floors. I think. Yes. Okay. So I can now change color. But I don't know where the heck I'm firing to, so this can rotate. That can go. Adjust elevation, there we go! I can go straight up even. Okay, there we go. I gotta rotate the other one. Can I rotate it from here? Can I? No. Heck. Need this one. To face left and that one to face across. Now let's need this to be green. Do these change when I rotate it like the other ones do? No, I don't think they do. So I need to go down. It's gonna shoot, I think, this one. Yeah, it's gonna shoot, I think. Sorry, Kaching. This one. So this needs to face this. Oh no, that's for the red. Oh, uh oh. How am I going to get that then? Because this obviously faces this way. I might have to travel with the green in order to get the green. Which is going to be weird. Okay. Let's go with red first then, I think. wanted red. Let's just see where it goes. Oh, I can just turn that one left to get green. Okay. It hits the, that one. Or really quickly, I can also do this instead. Okay, let's go. Oh, will that mess it up? Let me down! 
things are timed, man. Okay, yeah, I think I gotta wait. Do this. Three. Should be enough time. This camera's really slow. Was the destination points? I don't remember. I think they were up top. I got so busy with everything else. I forgot about where the heck I even put the stupid thing. That's a million dollar question, ain't it? Does it go this way? Do I take it back to the other room? I do. Oh god, I'm so confused. Can it even go this far? No, I don't know if I can. I don't think I have anything to rotate this. Unless. No, this has emblems. I guess this is fine. Where's the door? Okay, so there's that. Where do I plug this in? I picked it up and now I don't know where it goes. Hello? Oh my god, I don't know what to do with it. Maybe they're on the sides? I know how to get the things. I don't know where to put the things. Help. <laughs> Okay, that means I solved half of it. Guys, I genuinely don't know where to put the... the talisman. One of these needs to change. I need to fix that one. Maybe I just need to collect both. Oops. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. In lieu of not being able to find where I stick the damn emblems. This really shouldn't be here. Ooh. Uh, stop! I need to, like, catch my bearings. No, don't leave domain. I was trying to access my settings. I don't like this one. I do not like this puzzle. Okay, I need to change. That. Just trying to find out where it wants me to stick the damn things. It's like I see the door and I only see the door. I see... Stop! 
Stop it! There! They are in here. Kinda. They're like on a second floor almost. Yes, there we go. Oh my god, knock it off. I was trying to change my camera rotation speed. It feels really slow. Not that. Try again, stupid. Want to do... Green. Cool. Let's go get... Oh my gosh, camera, could you, like, be any more arthritic? No. Oh, I don't have s the setting thing on my wheel. Upside down right now. <laughs> we want to go, yeah, here. I did it. Yeah. Freedom. I'm sorry, but I just don't understand. Kazuha, have you forgotten our promise? You really want to give it all up? But... But even if we're having a rough time, you still have me by your side. Can't I be of any help? When you were my age, you were already helping Grandfather out. Am I so incompetent that I'm a disappointment to you? Or... Kazuha! Now you're blaming yourself for all of this? That's why I failed you as a father. The Kaidehara clan has been paying the price for our past mistakes ever since your great-grandfather's generation. To this day, we have never fully recovered from it. Though we are a family of bladesmiths, you don't have to devote your life to the family craft. If a wounded animal wants to escape from a trap, it has to sacrifice the hind leg that was caught. You might think of this as a loss, but staying in the trap has far more deadly consequences. Enough now, Kazuha. As the head of the family, I failed to revitalize our clan. You never blamed me for not giving you the life promised to you by our heritage. And I'm grateful enough for that. All these generations of suffering. Let's end them today. From now on, live your life with no burdens. Don't worry. I'll carry the blame for abandoning our family business. Father... Please don't. You should not be to blame for not upholding our family name. Even if that day comes, let me share the burden with you. Let's just wait and see. Sooner or later, I will have to lead the Kaidahara clan. When the time comes, I'll deal with all our problems. So, I'm guessing they feel guilt for forging blades that killed so many people? I'm guessing? Maybe there's more to it? Don't know yet? Okay, I think I came in that way. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, an opponent. <laughs> I can do this. Think you're tough enough to go against me? Yeah, no response! What's wrong? You scared? Did you really think it would be wise to pick a fight with the Kaidahara clan? Uh, 
Oh, come on, I'm always just short. I need just a sweet little more of energy recharge. Oh, you're still alive. My bad. Oh, please be close to being done. Please be close to being done. Higher? What the heck do you mean higher? Is there anything even over here? Oh, the voice. What voice? The Kaidahara clan is no longer what it used to be. That's Kasua's voice! Always was. Now this is open, I think. But why can't he hear us? He's a same thing as the conscious. It looks like it's just an illusion. This isn't the Kazuha who came here with us. Alice, um, reliving family trauma is not what I personally consider a fun summer vacation. Just saying. Alright. Uh, oh, I can just open it? What? As the courtyard... If I were more adept in the sword arts, I'd be able to share my father's burdens. It's like really old film. I love how on my main screen it's gray and on the recording one it has a more warmth to it do. i'm getting distracted by family matters and making too many mistakes gotta love different screens question is which one's right hear the song of nightingale my patient ears ready to attend Western skies. Into its midst, a silver moon descends. Where are we? To no one is fighting a losing battle, and yet never once falter. This shall be my father's legacy. We might find you trapped here again. <laughs> yeah, it seems those are the rules. We entered that maze in the mirage again, but the scene was different this time. You tell Kazuha what you saw. The mood was more deflated, and the place more humbly furnished. Yes, that makes sense. What you saw was the Kaidahara clan in decline. We saw you in the Mirage too, but you looked a little different than now. Indeed, I most certainly agree. Compared to the Lord Kazuha before us now, the Mirage we saw appeared lost, with the burden of fate weighing heavily upon him. I can confirm that. His fate was a heavy burden indeed. That means I am older and wiser now. I'm sorry you had to see my less mature former self. For a long time after leaving Inazuma, I've lived the life of a drifter. But this is no bad thing, because I learned much from the experience. I wish that I could have met my past self, too. If he saw me, I know that he would understand. Life is a long journey. And that's why I must travel far and wide. Just as I thought, the bonsai is the key to entering the mirage. Come on, let's continue looking for the rock garden.
Oh my gosh, it's still going. <laughs> How long is this chapter? New quest, the courtyard in spring once appeared. Am I technically on a different one? I'm not sure. Can't tell. Okay, let's see. Not yet unlocked, prerequisite quest incomplete. Huh. Wait. Yeah, okay. I think everything is probably open, I would guess. For time, anyway. Just don't really know which chapters are which. Because there's Naku weed on the island now. I don't know if that used to be here. That's a stone there. Did we get this conch? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, we did. We've been up here. I, I bonk it every time I come up here. But I feel like it's different now. I don't recall this part of the puzzle. Normally there's like a a piece that I need. I bet it's over there. You can only take these things so far. Incoming. I don't know if I have any way of electrocuting myself yet either. So, getting over there how? I guess I'll look later. I see a treasure chest. Yeah, here's some of these. I stand literally right in the middle. Don't know if it'll work for you though. I need Beto. All right, let's go. All right, right here. Oh, got these two. How about you? Check this out. Probably need to break that, and then hope I only attract this one. No, I get both. Which means I'm probably gonna have to do it again. How am I gonna get it? So it only gets this one, though. Did I get it? Oh, this one's ever so slightly off. Come on, Genshin. Yeah, because I feel it needs to be, like, right... Bing, bing. Ta-da! Got it. Something's come up. Oh, that's right, I came here for this. remember if I've seen purple ones. Maybe there were some, like, down in the whirlpool place in Konomiya. So it's been so long, I don't remember. Need these husks, though. Please come back! Oh, 
Oh, here's another one. The island did change. They were submerged. That means there's a seedly somewhere, too. I'm just waiting on Thomas' thing. Nice. Hmm. The fortune flip was right. I felt like above 60 frames for a second there. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. This should be the materials. Not bad, as far as treasure is concerned. Alright, but then I need a way to get to the Sealy. Because there's still this to deal with. Yep, I did. I did. L1 and square. There we go. But then how do I... Oh, is it close enough? No, I see one. I see a line. I see a line. Where is it? Here it is. I knew there was one somewhere. Alright, what did it give me? You give, you receive. Can't tell what I needed at all. I thought it was gonna give me access over there. Uh. Oh. I don't think I recharged my wind bottle either. Cross your fingers. There it is. There's that Sealy. I haven't done exploration in Genshin in a really long time. Okay, but he's going down. So where's this sending me? This looks like part of the island that uh, the Raiden blew up. I wonder if other people are going to get their memories, or if it's just Kazuha. Maybe Alice has something in store for him. Like, hey! We need to talk. This potential de descendant of uh, Fuhua. Sealy go. I saw it fly off this way. Here we go. There it is. I have one thing still after me, but I don't know how to deal with that.
Is there a boat on this island? No. I'm gonna have to warp and cross my fingers. Can't catch me. All right, bud, get in the thing. Claustrophobic. The loftier the clan, the more devastating the fall. Broken into pieces and not a single soul around. This must be the way things ended. Come on, let's get moving. That's probably going to be the thumbnail. Alright, need green. Okay, hits that. Seems like it's already set up. Master, we're the only servants left. Are you sure about this? After we're gone, who's going to... Don't worry. I'll be fine. Your mother died early. And now that your father has left you, you're all that remains of this clan now. I suppose that this is the last time we will ever see each other. Master, please take care of yourself. Everyone, on board! Farewell. I'm very curious about these murals too, since they're also in Kazaha's home. They have one eye, which... The number of eyes you have is something very important in Genshin Backlore. So, no, I just... I'm curious if those represent something we don't fully understand yet in Inazuma. The Kaidahara clan has ultimately disbanded in my hands. But as my father said, I should not let life imprison me. Perhaps living the wanderer's life is what was meant for me after all. Disappeared. <laughs> no, they say that visions represent the Archon's gaze. Hmm. But is being under an Archon's gaze really a blessing? I don't know. Maybe. I'm starting to think, what if Fischl was supposed to, like, be the bearer of this so she could really experience the Imanakreik, but Kazaha accidentally picked it up instead, and that's why everything's going sideways. Hey! A conch. And a treasure. Which do I touch first? Just in case. Any other hidden treasure? There's a thing. I have traveled far and wide in Inazuma since leaving home and seen many new things along the way. Though material luxuries have not been a feature of my journey, it has yet been a rich and rewarding one, with the boundless earth and sky to call my abode, and all the wonders of nature as my partners in poetry. Has the pot play something? Continue onward in the shattered space. I don't know where the thing is, though. I can see this, but I don't know what to stick in it. Do I, like, climb the tree or something? Can I climb the tree? I can climb the tree. Is this relevant? Am I overthinking things?
feel like I missed something. There it is. Please don't fall. Vision hunt decree. Hand over your visions now. This way. Hurry. Went that way, but. Rules dictate I gotta grab the stuff. Okay, this goes that way, which hits this. If I can rotate it around. Okay. Here. I need another one. I don't know if there's any here, so it might be something... Onward in the shattered space. Yeah, I probably need to follow the Electro Sealy. It'll probably lead me to one, and then I have to come back. Probably did things out of order. Is this it? Is this where you wanted me? Should have just followed the freaking ceiling. Good job, Bren. What wants me on this path? Where are you going? Yeah, I did do it backwards. I know very well why people resist against the vision hunt decree. Ambition is our power in its rawest form. We cannot live without it. remains. I will leave. The almighty Shogun is holding a duel before the throne. Unauthorized personnel are strictly forbidden from coming near. Wait, the kid has a vision? Get him! Don't let him get away! Realize you were still alive, my bad. Please don't knock me off. That's not fair. That's not fair. God, where do I go now? Oh, 
hope that didn't mess it up too bad. This is awkward. Oh, you thought that one through. Under the deck? The life of a wanderer is full of hardships. I have asked myself these questions many times. Should I go? If so, where to? And by what means? Any necessary, honey. Any necessary. I think he does more charged attack damage than regular damage. What's this? Oh, you're in the thing. Sorry, buddy. Let me get you out. Yeah, these ones, the puzzles are a lot more short and sweet, but I'm totally okay with that. Okay. Start with nothing, apparently. Fire? Oh, I fire the Sealy! Okay, so I can carry two. That's good to know. Where to, bud? is my pillars. That must be Beto's ship. No, it's the different ship. And Seelie's back in the pedestal. Kaidahara, that's you, right? Get on board, I'll get you out. But why are you helping me? I'm a wanted fugitive. Obviously the Yashiro... <clears throat> An anonymous financial sponsor wants you to get out safely. But there's only so much they can do. After this, you'll be on your own. My grandfather once traveled to Liyue. While my father read about Mondstadt. But 
Where is the right place for me? Mm -hmm. I feel the, the same way right now. Dark. It looks like it's going to rain. Will the rain ever stop? Like I want to find a new place, but kind of every place is having serious issues right now, so it's kind of hard to pick. Like, where do I go? Stop. I'm warning you. Do not attempt to resist. Oh, really? Which I guess if I think about it as an answer is a question my ancestors had to ask as well. And did they make the right choice? I don't know if they did. Okay? Need a ride or something? <laughs> Pirates? <laughs> you could call us that. So, you coming or not? Not bad, Spado ship. I recognize that dragon. Gotta keep him in here somewhere. Kazuha, we found you. Uh, good timing. I was just reflecting on my life so far, and I think I'm all up to date. So, what do you think of the Kaidahar clan's bonsai? Looks like it carries a lot of history. Things weren't perfect, but you have nothing to feel ashamed of. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, this mirage is quite fascinating. It presents life like a stage play, with each scene more captivating than the last. They say that astrologists have seen it all. So if this mirage intrigued you, that says it was a worthwhile encounter. <clears throat> how fair is thy mood? What? Oh, you mean, how are you doing, Kazuha? When Foyline inquires as to your present well-being, Lord Kazuha. Hoping your heart is not too filled with sorrow. There's no way anyone could be cheerful after reliving all that. <laughs> you have a point. Thank you all for your concern. Fortunately, all those things are past and gone now. When I first saw this bonsai, I thought of the possibility that I needed to wait for you. Perhaps that was why I had to be here on my own. There was supposed to be a dead plant in that flower pot. However, there was nothing there. While we were separated, I had a lot of time to reflect. I think I finally understand now. The mirage is me. The empty flower pot represents the state of my heart. When the heart is clear, the world is too. And when the heart is unladen, the same is true. Clear and unladen. That describes how I feel right now. Although I would not say there are no regrets in this. To be unladen is also to be empty. That's why this bonsai appeared as part of my mirage. It gave me a chance to fulfill my wishes. I never realized that deep down in my heart, I also wanted to make my own bonsai. 
Perhaps this is what it really means to keep Kaidahara traditions alive. Have you finished doing what you wanted to do, Kazuha? Yes, you could say that. You saw my past self and said goodbye to him. Only when you witness my whole story does it become truly consigned to history. What really matters in life is not how strict we are with ourselves, but the connections we make along the way. There's no future for those who linger on the past. So please believe me when I say that I've already come a long way. And I intend to go further still. I will always treasure your support. I often travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Many times, I couldn't even see what was right in front of me. One day, I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Here, there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun, and maybe the whole world can be my home. Everyone must be exhausted. Let's call it a day. <sighs> What's up? What's wrong? You don't look too good. Nothing. Perhaps today's arduous journey is making me feel slightly out of sorts. <laughs> you mean, Fräulein, are you all right? Oz, curb thy curiosity. Uh, yes, mean Fräulein. Maybe she's hoping it was her that got to live her imagination. For us to eat. Go ahead and rest if you're feeling tired. But anyone who's up to it is welcome to help out. I'll help. Oh, me too. Everyone's volunteering to help. Maybe we should too. Count us in. Whoa, hey. <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm, but uh, her highness looks kind of gloomy. Mona, you two seem close. Why don't you keep her company for a while? You noticed it too. I was going to bring it up with you while we were preparing the food. In that case, yes, just leave it to me. All right, we'll prepare the food. Mona gives you a wink that runs to stay with Fischl. Everyone else collects cooking ingredients. Yep, this should be enough. We can grill these. Next time we pass by one of those abandoned campsites, I'll see if they have a cooking pot. We'd have some more variety then. Wow! That's such a nice idea! You might not be a chef, Dunyan, but you sure do know how to keep diners happy! I have literally a portable kick a portable cooking pot. Use that. Oh shucks, Paimon. It's no big deal. Just doing what I can. Even the crewmates of the Alcor consider Shinyan someone they can rely on. We feel the same way about you too, Kazuha. <laughs> we sure do. Hmm. Well, then, as a trusted friend, I have something I'd like to talk about. From what you've been saying, that miraculous mirage seems to have been based on my life story to date. It felt just like a dream to me. Maybe that's it. Maybe it represented your dreams. In other words, you've always wanted to make your own bonsai? Could that be it? All that was a means of granting me something I wished for? Do you want to build a bonsai? And since this happened to me, does that mean it could happen to everyone else too? I think so, and I'm pretty sure Fischl wants it to happen. I agree, but I wonder whose mirage we'll encounter next. <laughs> I'm actually kind of looking forward to my own mirage, if it's a dream come true like you say. Wait, you actually want something like this to happen with you too? Oh heck, 
Any barrage to do with me would probably be music related. <laughs> It'd be a good chance to showcase a few tunes. You mean you'd want to do a performance in there? <laughs> Why not? I don't think any self-respecting musician could stay silent on these islands. Just look at this place. So much confidence and optimism. Shenyan rocks! Oh, um, uh, Traveler, Paimon wants to try some of the fruit growing on that cliff over there. <laughs> Let's go pick some. Oh, is this about calling Venti and giving him updates? Also, you gotta remember, Paimon, not everybody comes laden with trauma. Uh, carry on without us. I need a moment with Paimon. I need to go walk my fairy. Oop. Goodbye, Oz. So, those strange houses today, huh? And, uh... A mirage bonsai? Oh, basically lots of weird stuff today. Um, do you think we should tell Venti about it? I thought you were going to ask me that. Let's give him a call. Dodico, Dodico. Dodico, Dodico, Dodico. no answer. That's weird. Why is he ignoring us? That doesn't seem like him. Either he's in the liminal space again where he can't talk to us, or something's jamming our signal. Maybe he got distracted. <gasps> or he forgot to bring the bomb to his performance. <gasps> or he got drunk and fell asleep under that huge tree. That's also possible. Maybe we should try contacting him tomorrow. Traveler, Paimon, so here you are. Mona! <laughs> are you all done chatting with Fischl? <laughs> Close enough. She was a little downcast. I think it has something to do with the mirage we saw today. Fischl has been very excited about this trip from the start, but I have a feeling she doesn't want to see her own mirage. Oh. Right! It seems like this would be the kind of thing she really enjoys! Because she's... She escapes into a fantasy world to basically forget her own trauma. If she relived it, she would be forced to be reliving... Basically, her father telling her everything else. So, my bad. I thought she wanted to escape into her fantasy world when reality, she's trying really, really hard to avoid reality. I'm not sure at this stage, but I'll keep an eye on her. There's something else I wanted to tell you. I tried performing a divination again on the beach. My scry glass was still blurry, but I felt a force coming from within. I couldn't see its exact position, but I knew that it was changing. How could you tell that if you couldn't see it clearly? Hmm, how can I explain this concept to non-experts? Uh, oh, I know. It's like we are uh, sitting in a room and there's a crack in the walls. We don't know where it is, but everyone can feel the wind rushing in. Not only that, but the room is getting colder. Oh, Paimon gets it now. So you want to find where that crack is, right? You could say that. I need to see the crack first before deciding what to do next. <sighs> Seems like similar things happen every time I'm with you. I'll attempt divination, read the signs, zero in on the target, then solve the problem. You're surrounded by all kinds of friends, secrets, and destinies. It's incredible. No, you are incredible! You helped Fischl and us solve that fun art situation! Is this a good thing for an astrologist? And maybe that's part of my purpose, is to like form as many connections, which in turn are related to the constellations in the sky as possible. All things considered, I suppose. Let's hope we can all stick together and resolve this, like we did last time. When you say together, do you mean the two of you? Or all three of us? <laughs> okay, okay, the three of us then. Sometimes Paimon offers an insightful perspective that can be very helpful to me. Really? Aww, Paimon's starting to like you a lot, genius astrologist Mona. 
Yes, that's the perspective I'm talking about. You'll never meet another astrologist as clever and charming as me. <laughs> yeah, everything about you's great. Except for, um, please don't laugh like Fischl again. Ever. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Friends' habits rub off on you when you spend a lot of time together, don't they? <laughs> uh. I'll keep observing the stars. Keep in touch, traveler. And there we go. As the courtyard in spring once appeared is complete. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Came out of nowhere, but thanks. Uh, Misty Hills, Foggy Vales. Complete initial exploration. Complete total of three times. Oh no. Decrease cold the cooldown of flowing leaf slasher ten times during the final challenge and complete the final challenge. Only eight leaf slashers. Alright, so I guess that's new. And these are going to be related to like two more. I guess. Which have probably been open long enough to be done. The following day, 6 o'clock, yeah. So I am uh, not going to do that. I'm going to... It has been a week since last time. Since I wanted to literally give Twitch a week. So what it is time for is a wish. And then I'm going to work back out of here in my own time to get the heck out. Who's it going to be? It is a sacrificial greatsword. It's the weapon Beto uses. Yeah, I, I kind of figured I would have a less um, prosperous pull after <laughs> last week. Good gracious. Come on, enough procrastinating. Let's go. But yeah, I'm gonna warp back really quick just to make sure I don't accidentally trigger anything. Back to my usual starting point. Okay, I can't trip on anything this way. Just in case, I'm gonna move the clock forward. Just so it gets rid of that notification too. Blazing trails, talk to everyone. Okay, cool. We are all set up for next time, which could be later this week, could be next week. I don't know, we will see. But, um, yeah, good to be back streaming again. Um, I know I've been avoiding some of like the collectibles and stuff, but I think I'll do that after the story for Archipelago completes and then just tack that on either the final episode or um, do that uh, in my own time, depending on what it is. I don't know. No commentary. We'll see. Or I could do an episode that just doesn't have any story in it for collectibles. We will see. Uh, editing has been a little weird so far. My computer really heats up when I edit, so it'll take me at least a day because I'm going to have to wait until nighttime to edit. Just so my computer doesn't heat up too much while doing so. Uh, it really shouldn't be heating up that much, but it's probably because I have a um, several year outdated version of Vegas. And I kind of refuse to get the new ones to get the new encoders to uh, make it look... I mean, it'd look about the same, but to make it run a little better because I don't want to spend a thousand dollars for that literally a thousand dollars um and I know I have the more powerful PC but unfortunately upload quality is going to be the same 1080p 60 that it used to be in the same quality simply because my internet has uh, not changed I built this PC more for myself and it was cheaper to get this than it was to ironically get something lower also the lower processors were all F-series NVIDIA cards, which uh, cannot do video editing. So I kind of had to get a slightly higher PC. It was on sale, so it was much cheaper. A little bit more future-proof. But um, yeah, unfortunately, while I have the capabilities of making 4K video now, one, it runs the PC weirdly hot, and two, my I, I still have crappy rural internet. I said this before, I'll say it again. I still have really crappy rural internet, and as is, I'm already pushing the limits of it, so... <clears throat> I can't have an upload that takes 10 hours, guys. I'm sorry. It's just not possible. So, or it is, but, you know, no. I'm going to have to put my foot down and say no. So, 
That's it. I'm officially pigeonholed into casual streamer with mediocre quality. Yay! Like I said, um, streaming is something I'm phasing out anyway. I'm not hardcore making LPs anymore like I used to, so it is what it is. I am what I am, which is old. So, yeah, I'll still do Genshin, I think. I hope. We'll see. If all else fails, I'll have to stream it off the PS4. But uh, going forward, I might do like one game a year, which I can try to platinum or just goof around. But other than that, I'm done. The fighting has ceased for now. It's just, uh, it's a different climate and it's become too stressful. So this isn't like a downer thing. It's just me saying life's changing. I'm changing. And uh, my goals are changing and I don't want to dedicate a ton of time, resources, and oh my god, money to something that isn't going to take off and I only want to keep as a casual hobby anymore. So, yeah. Uh, this is basically just for friends and stuff now. Or anybody else who's uh, interested. No obligations anymore. I'll keep the emotes up. So I'll keep affiliate just to keep the emotes up for people. But uh, other than that, that's it. I'm good. I'm done and this is gonna be how I'm gonna do things moving forward so again thank you so much to everyone who has joined and uh, if you're interested I guess I'll still keep this as my outro I hope to see you all in future streams bye bye